Okay, I just tackled a problem on my uh, MK4 TDI Jetta. Uh, somebody had actually worked on the vehicle and uh, changed the injectors or whatever. And uh, you can always tell when somebody that doesn't know what they're doing is working on a Volkswagen because they'll bust the releases. So I fixed this. <laughs> this was busted. And uh, anyway, I've been having problems with the PO251 code uh, going through it. Uh, I, I come to the conclusion after changing of uh, some parts, did the relay, um, checked the ohms on injector number three, checked the 3.2 volts coming in, signal coming in injector number three, checked the grounds in the computers, uh, ground, changed the battery, found that the alternator um, had a seized uh, pulley, clutch pulley, so I changed that. Still having problems, so I just said, you know, it has to be injector uh, number three. There's an intermittent problem with it, so I ordered some uh, replacement injectors out of Colorado um, and uh, installing them. Now, if your injectors leaking were into the head, you're, the only way you can really tell is to take what I did anyway. I took some brake clean. I mean, you could probably use water, but just put a little bit down inside where the injector goes into the head. And then if you see it bubbling, then your injector's leaking. So I've been fighting with this. Uh, I installed these injectors last night, um, set the timing, uh, injection quantity today, came out after about an hour running the vehicle and there's diesel all over the place here. So the injector was leaking. So that tells me that I probably had low compression on this cylinder from a prior injector leaking, but it wasn't so bad as to allow fuel to come out. Um, but I put bigger injectors in, so I'm fueling more so that that allowed this fuel to come out. So anyway, long story short, took the injector out. I've, I've six times put this injector back in, new crush washers. Uh, I use a uh, cleaning kit here, engine cleaning kit. Basically, it's a bunch of little brushes, right? Use the plastic, not the steel. Put that on the end of a drill. And then, and then you put this on the end of one of the plastic brushes, nylon, and then clean the, the bore with it. And I looked down there with a flashlight and noticed that it looked like one of the, it actually looked like uh, the crush washer had uh, indented the, the head, okay, so the, the bore. So I'm like, great, what am I gonna do now? I call around, everyone's like, nah, you gotta change the head, it's 1200 bucks for a new head. I'm like, I'm not doing that. No, it ain't happening unless I have to. So I uh, went and bought this. This was from Napa. And basically it's an exhaust, uh, exhaust flange ring, right? It's like $2.50. So I went to Napa, told them what, I was, what was going on and I got this, and what I did, if you look here, I cut a little washer out. Now this is just terrible, this, this thing. You get the idea though, right? So you drill a hole uh, the size of the tip of your injector in the center of your washer that you're gonna make, and then you trim your washer with a pair of uh, uh, cutters, right? Let's see, those are serrated cutters. And then, and then you gotta just, you make make a washer, man. So you make a washer, you make it neat. Make sure there's this is steel inside here. You gotta trim it down and 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 make a neat washer. So what happens now is you're gonna put this. You're gonna put your crush washer. Your crush washer is gonna go on to the injector body first. Okay, this goes on the injector body like it normally would, and then you're gonna take your homemade exhaust flange washer that is is clean smooth and flat okay this is just not a complete one right I, I gave up on this one and started another one because this looks like crap and it has to fit around the nozzle tightly and don't damage your nozzle tip holes when you're doing this put this on and then what you have to do is you have to drop your injector down into the bore and you have to put your clamp on and then you have to take a punch, and you're gonna take that punch and a hammer, and you're gonna tighten this down. You take a punch and hammer, and you're gonna tap 
on either side to seat that washer material into the bore. You're going to tap on either side to pound that to force that injector down to seat that material and then you're going to torque down your nut. You're going to run the car until it's warm, come back out, torque it again. So basically I have a homemade washer out of exhaust flange material underneath the crush washer in the head. That solved the leak. We'll see how long it lasts, but if it's good for exhaust, I'm hoping it'll hold up under, you know, 520 pounds of pressure. We'll see. And if it don't, then, uh, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it from there. If it don't, I'll see if I can get a honing stone and drop it down in the bore. Uh, stuff the cylinder with a paper towel. Take a flat honing stone with some cutting oil. Go down in there, hone it out. See if I can flatten it out, smooth it out, and uh, get it to work. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have any more problems though. So this is just a little helper uh, tip for people out there having problems with injectors. Uh, if they've got a damaged head on the injector bore in the head, maybe that'll help some people out.